Hi, welcome to Lorna's Planet. Um, children, this is our first session on the topic profit and loss. Okay, this is a very, very easy topic and uh, by now you would uh, obviously know how to add and subtract. So addition and subtraction is the only thing that we're supposed to do when we do profit and loss. So before we begin uh, by doing the sums and word problems uh, on profit and loss, we will discuss some basic terminologies which are used in such sums. Okay? Now, the terminologies that we have here are, the first one is cost price. Okay? So what is it? The price at which the product or item is bought or purchased. So um, to understand this, we'll take an example. Um, suppose we have a boy named Raj, okay? And he went to um, a shop of electronics and he bought a camera worth 20,000 rupees, okay? So the price of the camera was rupees 20,000, okay? So what will be this? This amount is known as the cost price because Raj bought the camera which was being sold by the seller for rupees 20,000. So the price at which the ca uh, camera was bought by Raj is the cost price. Now we'll understand what selling price is. So selling price. The price at which a particular item is sold. So... Um, We'll take the case of Raj again. Raj, he bought the camera of 20,000, okay? And um, it was damaged and uh, that's why he had to sell it off. So he sold it for maybe rupees 18,000, okay? So this is the selling price because after buying it, he sold it okay because he had used it or maybe it got damaged or whatever be the reason okay so the cost price is the price at which he bought and the selling price is the price at which he sold now children the difference over here if we subtract 18,000 from 20,000 we'll get 2,000 okay now this 2,000 over here is the loss that Raj has after he sold the camera why does he have a loss? Because he bought for a more price and he sold it for a lesser price. Okay? So 2000 is his loss because he didn't actually get the amount which he bought it for. But now, if Raj uh, bought the camera at 20,000 and he sold it at maybe 22,000. Okay? So this 2000 would be his profit because he would earn 2000 more when he sold it because he bought it for 20,000 and he's selling it for 22,000. So the profit he'll have of 2000. Okay, now we look to the definitions of profit and loss. Now, here profit it is the gain occurred when the selling price of a product is more than its cost price. When selling price of a product is more than its cost price okay like we discussed earlier if he bought it for 20,000 and sold it for 22,000 so cost price was 20,000 okay and 22,000 was the selling price so 2,000 was the profit now what is loss loss it is occurred when the selling price is less than the cost price now the first case that we are taken it was of loss he bought it for 20,000 and sold it for 18,000. So 2,000 was his loss. So um, I hope that you're clear with these terms because we'll be using them as we start solving sums. Okay. So we won't be discussing word problems in this session. We'll just discuss uh, some basic sums, some easy ones so that you actually understand how to go about solving profit and loss sums. Okay, children? Now, children over here, uh, we have CP and SP given. CP stands for the cost price and SP stands for the selling price. Alright, so this is uh, for the first one. Then this is for the second one, the third one and the fourth one. Alright, so 
for the first sum we'll take these two okay so now we have the CP now children remember this general formula we will always subtract CP from SP okay and then if the answer we get in negative then it will be a loss and if the answer is in positive then it's a profit alright so in the first sum we'll subtract CP from SP so that is 111 minus 120 so you'll get minus 9 so this one is a loss now for the second one we have again we'll subtract CP from SP so that's 4500 minus 4050 now if you subtract you'll get 450 okay so this is positive 450 that's why it will be profit okay now you need not you know show the signs over here in case it's profit but when it's loss you'll have to show the negative sign okay now in the third one we have 1010 minus 999 so that's 11 alright so it's again a profit now over here we have selling price as 15,000 and the cost price is also 15,000 so therefore there is no profit no loss so in this particular condition what we'll write it as no profit no loss okay so you need to be careful and like you can just have you know the digits interchanged and the position will be interchanged like we have 4050 and 4500 so don't get confused alright so um, we'll take a few more sums like this now these are the next sums that we have here with us so first we'll take this one so again we'll follow SP minus CP alright so for the first sum it is 1 1 1 0 minus 1 0 2 0 okay which equals to 90 and that is a positive 90 so this will be a profit okay now in the second one we have 9 5 5 minus 1 9 5 5 over here it's negative 1000 so this case will be loss okay now next we have is 1 4 0 0 minus 1 2 0 2 and that equals to positive 98 okay so this case we have profit now the last one which is 1900 minus 1909 now over here we have negative 9 okay so we have a loss over here okay so this was really very easy these sums were also very simple these were just the basic sums and I hope that you understood this um, now um, in the next session we'll be taking up some um, you know bigger sums most probably we'll be doing word problems okay and um, there are many cases in a uh, profit and loss in which you know the teacher could ask you uh, in the form of word problems it might be that sometime um, the CP is given to you and the profit is given to you and you have to find the SP or the SP is given and the loss is given and you have to find the CP alright so these kind of sums also we'll be doing so just practice 
these simple sums where CP and SP are only given and no other detail is given to you because it's just basic addition and subtraction and just do remember this formula because this is very important and just use only this formula or else you'll get confused okay so I'll see you in the next session then and just practice these sums alright so bye